Hey everyone, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Welcome to Thrifting as My Beach. Today I have a thread up unboxing. It is still sealed. I got a fabric DIY box. I got one a couple weeks ago and it was pretty good. Uh, I haven't filmed it yet because I still have some of the clothes in the wash. But when they are ready to show you guys, I will put that video out. But this is a live unboxing. So let's get started. These cost, I think, $30 plus $10.99 shipping, so all in with tax. No, I, I did the math wrong. I apologize. Um, it was like $37 total. If I'm incorrect, I'll put all the stuff up in the corner. So when I record these videos, um, I buy these boxes. Usually with uh, I had a little bit of thread up credit. Um, I can no longer get labels. If you're an OG, I used to put out a lot of thread up content. But due to change in their policies, it makes resellers very difficult with all the extra fees and lack of labels to make a profit. So you can still if you're very strategic, um, but I had multiple accounts and you had to start putting in your social security number for tax purposes. And obviously, like, I'm not going to do fraud. So it just, it's not going to work. But I can still try to have fun. So what I do when... I actually reclaimed my last kit with thread up and to oversight the cost of the crazy shipping I purchased something under a assorted brands and a, if it's in the winter time I'll look at cashmere items that's assorted or in the spring summer I'll look at linen items under the um, like the fresh category so and then I purchased one if it's like around twenty dollars or less and so far, that's been working really well for me. I recently, well, today I just reclaimed and got a uh, linen dress. It's kind of like lagging look vibes. But uh, they tape this really good normally. They only tape it right here in the front, and they taped it all around. So I do apologize for the loud delay. I know this box came from Pennsylvania, which I'm here in Illinois, so... Uh, typically my boxes come from Phoenix and are pretty good. Uh, Effort Pennsylvania is like one of the best, but I don't know if it really matters. Let's get started. So it comes with my slip. Oh good, I can tell you guys because last box I didn't get that receipt. And oh, it was actually on sale. It's $24. So yeah, that's how it came to $37 total with tax and shipping and everything. And again, I had store credit or credit from my last kit. And my last kit actually did not do very well. I usually sell like certain brand purses, like I'll mark up pretty much and they'll sell. They didn't sell, so that was a little disappointing. All right, first impression's pretty good. I see some nice like flannel, oh, they're scarves, okay. Scarves typically don't do that great, but I do like this fabric. Um, at first glance, it looks like it might be silk, but I, it's just like a metallic polyester, unfortunately, I think. If it's not tagged, this will be a hard sale because it's not like super awesome. It's just Cynthia Raleigh, which is like Marshall's. I will most likely just pair this with a plain black dress. So it's kind of a dud, but I don't expect everything to be awesome. So this, oh, this is great. Okay. So this is a nice wide wrap scarf. It's by Bront by Moon, made in Great Britain. It's 100% lamb's wool and based off of the tag, like see how crisp that is? It's in really nice condition. I will check this over. Um, wool notoriously gets moth holes if it's not stored properly. So I will check this, but I do sell items if they have like partial moth holes, depending on the age of the item. So what I do for wool items is I simply hold it up to a light source because if there's a hole, the light will shine through very easily and it's pretty easy to spot holes or damage to it. And I don't see any at first glance. So this is a decent size. I'll put in the corner what they resell for. This next item, my daughter's getting ready to go to bed. She's a, she's a hot mess. She's three and she just, oh. 
if you, if you um, are a mom of a girl, then you know. <laughs> All right, so I, I do like this fabric or this pattern. It feels like a muslin cotton. It's very thin. Um, was it the back? I think that was the back. Yeah, the colors are more vibrant on this side. It's a nice uh, floral. It's... I'm trying to look at the stitching. The stitching's pretty good. It's unfinished here, which I think is slightly odd for the type of fabric that it is. It's not frayed or anything, but it's like a clean cut. I don't know, uh, looking for a tag at the moment. Don't mind me. I will count the items and put the average cost of goods Oops. for you guys, just to keep in mind. But these items are shipped directly to your door. And I think it's 10 pounds, which can be a decent amount unless you get like a heavy bulky item, but they typically don't do that. Okay, I am not finding a tag, so I will use Google Lens later and I might find the style of this. It is a decent size. Like it looks like it almost be like a sarong, like a wrap skirt, which I might sell it like that as spring is almost here. It's March. Um, ooh. This looks kind of retro. Um, it is. This is probably like 70s. Uh, a little necktie. Do you, I don't know if you guys call them a pussy bow. I could add it to one of my vintage blouses. It's Well, not for me, but uh, it's got a little pop of like pink, a little bit metallic, like the gold and stuff. Funky. And I mean, it's super, super light, so... Um, I'm just hoping this isn't all scarves because you can order scarves for like $16 or something really cheap. And I have done that once before. Yeah, I think I got scarves, guys. Ugh. All right. Uh, again, this is probably another vintage one, but it's just a black striped one. I'm hoping there's a designer piece in here. Otherwise, I'm not going to really make any money. This is silk feel, but it's made in Korea. Uh... This looks more 80s, metallic. Looks like something one of the Golden Girls would wear, like Blanche. Yeah, it's a little funky. I, I tend to gravitate gravitate towards funkier items because that's just what I like to sell. So this looks older, more mod style. There's my kitty cat. Hopefully I find some good stuff because I have bought probably like six of these fabric boxes and they've always been good, like really good. Um, so I don't, I mean, this may be the one that's a dud and that's okay. You know, I mean, these are like rescue boxes. Um, and so they don't claim like the, these are supposed to be made for like crafts and stuff. So I do typically get like my last box. I got quite a bit of new tag items. Uh, here's just like a satin, yeah, so far I'm not going to sell, but maybe a few of these items I've showed you guys so far, but I do love this print, very vintage, retro paisley, it is a square scarf, again, I don't see any tags, it does not have rolled hems, you know, uh, which typically indicate a higher quality so again, I may just pair that with um, a shirt or something like that. So here, finally, something, a vintage dress, which I'm totally okay with. I'm a vintage seller. So it's a vintage 16. I'm going to put the box down a little bit so I can show you the item better. Vintage shirt dress. It is missing the original belt to give you like a waistline. But I uh, will use ribbon. I buy ribbon at the dollar store. Um, let me know in the comments. Our dollar store about three to six months ago went to $1.25, which is fine. But so many people have their panties in a bunch over it. So <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. Our whole family's been sick this last week. So I haven't. Um, been filming and I haven't been shopping or anything but uh yeah this is like a nice 
80s, maybe like 70s print. No, I'm going to say 80s. Just a polyester uh, casual dress. So yeah, um, I'll probably ask like $40 for that. Not a very desirable piece, but oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. This feels very delicate and it does feel like silk. There is a tag on it. It is um, like an Asian nature scene with um, the hills, a home, and some people, other buildings. I don't, it's semi sheer. So, but look at how detailed that is. That is really pretty. Um, it goes all the way down with different things. It's not like a repeated pattern, it's all different. Um, I think this is silk. Yeah, well, I'll have to. So this is not vintage. It's like um, a plastic tag. But I will translate that and I'm pretty sure it's silk. But based off of style, I still think I could sell it for $20. I'll let you know. One size. Again, a scarf. Um, black and purple polka dots. It's an infinity scarf that um, I don't craft. I don't know how to use a sewing machine. So that will just be donated. Ooh, this is so funky. I love the colors of this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I should put this as my background for the thumbnail. Look how awesome that is. Oh, I'm tempted to keep this one. I love rainbow. If you ask my kid what their favorite color is, like rainbow. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, it, it appears to be vintage. I do not see any tags, but that's totally okay. So I'm not sure how you would style this one because it's got fringe on the ends. So I don't know. I guess you if you did a triangle, it would still be folded but this would be really cute oh my gosh for like lgbt month that would be that would be really cool all right moving on i will sell that one another fabric piece this is a it almost looks like raw silk uh but it's metallic or like iridescent. Do you guys see that? It's like a, a really bright pink, but then an, like a, an orange. So one side, yeah, you can see one side is more pink. The other side is orange. And they come to a point. Uh, this does appear handmade. I would say it's vintage because, oh my gosh. I have to show you guys. So, again, I'm a vintage reseller. Do you guys see this retro print? I haven't pulled it out yet, but I'm really hoping it's authentic vintage and not, like, a reproduction. I'm going to do this one next. Ugh, it feels really cheap. It feels like a reproduction, like a costume. Unfortunately, oh, bummer, it is. It's just a cheap made in China boutique. But, um, oh, I wish this was true vintage. I love this. It's, like, pot big pack, patchwork and it's got uh it's like a high low um again it's like it's got a crisscross v-neck in the front and the back is long like maxi length again it is cheap it is polyester spandex oh that is so sad there is a slit for a belt that is not included but, I mean, I'll still sell it on style alone. That was a dad. <laughs> uh, my cat is on my fireplace mantle, and every time she gets up there, she knocks something off and breaks it. My cat. She's crazy. She, like, it's like witching hour with her at night. She'll, like, make all these weird meows. I think she's kind of anxious. Anyways, I'm going to say hello to everyone. This is Lucy. She is two years old. She is really good with the kids. 
Um, like she'll go and lay on them. She doesn't really lay on me much. Okay, now she wants to, now that I'm filming and I need to show you guys the garment that she's laying on. Okay, uh, here we just have a skirt, a floral, roughly feminine skirt, no brand, it's reversible. The other side is polka dots. Um, it does not feel like quality. So I will just be donating that one. My daughter is a little nuts right now. Like she's very tired. My husband needs to put her to bed. Uh, okay. So here's, this is probably also from the same donation, but there is, um, something on it and I don't know if it will wash out again. I will most likely just include that with another vintage item that it matches. Ooh, I love this. This is a modern piece. It's like a little pullover caftan SAX acrylic. Uh, so it's like a chiffon. Uh, oh, it's got little arm slits. I love these little boho pieces. Like this is the stuff that I wear when it's warmer out. Oh, I might keep this one. This is so cute. Very flowy. Yeah, I'll probably keep this one because it's not really worth it to resell. Okay. Ooh, I like this print. It's like a, a dress. I feel like I've sold this brand before. A shop key. Uh, it's a six. It is really good. It's like got a little bit of sheen to the fabric. It almost looks black, but because of the fabric, it could be a charcoal gray with a nice rose pattern and like a peach, pe peachy pink. But it also has an accent of these blue butterflies. Just really pretty. It's a sheath style, but it's maxi length. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh, it does have monarch butterflies on it too. And it's pleated. It's a full skirt. Um, it's lined. It, it doesn't feel like expensive quality, but because of the print, that might do decent. But I mean, this probably weighs a little bit over a pound. Just hoping I can get my money back realistically. I'm hoping there would be like one item in here that, you know, <laughs> would make me some money, but this is more so just for fun. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure this out. This is a really neat, like rayon crinkle fabric. Is it sunflowers? No. Some kind of really vibrant floral print, but it's knotted like it's a wrap skirt. There we go. Finally figured it out. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't see any tags, but it doesn't feel as cheap as the boutique one from earlier. So again, this, this will be just sold on style. It's really cute. I do like that. It won't sell for much. I'll probably just list that one for $20. Here's another heapy cheap fabric polka dot. Is it a romper? Is it a dress? A dress. Um, I won't even sell this one. There are like no tags. Um, cheap fabric. This pattern is really pretty, but it feels like really cheap material. Yep. Again, another cheap one for, I'll probably still sell this one just based off of style. Um, it's got a little ruffle hem at the bottom, but it is a very cheap fabric. <laughs> this is really not that great, guys. Of course, I had to choose the live unboxing because if I, like, honestly, if I would have unboxed this prior and not recorded, I would have not even <laughs> made a video because it's not exciting. Uh, but, you know, this is reality of reselling. And when you buy these, like, mystery boxes... Okay, so this looks 90s, vintage. It is black, long. I do well with these dresses. I could probably get like $75 for this. It's got mesh sleeves. 
and beading along. It's like an illusion neckline. So you see the sequence. That is really pretty with a sweetheart neckline. Uh, again, this is full length, like to the floor. The tag has been cut out. Uh, I don't know if the fabric is stuck on the zipper, but it's not moving super. Okay, there we go. I got it. Um, the inside stitching may, it, this may not be, well, no, maybe it, it, it's very 90s style. So maybe I'll just say 90s style. Uh, I'll have to look at it a little bit closer. Oh, it says Jeffrey, Jeffrey something. Jeffrey's in cursive and that's on like the shoulder straps that they cut out. So Google lens may help me in this one, but that one I could definitely sell. This is funky. Some koi fish Asian fabric of some sort, like oriental. Let's see. Oh, it's a robe. It feels like polyester, like a kimono robe. Oh, it's missing the waist tie, which I probably won't sell it if it's missing the waist tie. That's a bummer. Okay, well. I always check the pockets, even at the thrift stores, because like, if it doesn't have the waist tie on it, sometimes they'll tuck it into the pocket. So that one's a bummer. There are no tags. It feels like cheap fabric and it's missing the belt. So I'm not going to list that one. And of course, when there's one, there's two. This one just looks like, uh, this is notations. It's like a 90s tag. I'll probably sell this one. It's, again, oriental style. Is that Mandarin with like a Mandarin collar? It's a large. Uh, this is heavy. This is probably, yeah, this is heavy. Um, Parker, I've heard of that brand before. This is new with tags, but I see strings in one area, like all over. I think this is the neckline. It's a racer back, heavily beaded dress in an extra small um the fabric see it's so heavy that it's actually coming the seam is un coming undone on both i could hand stitch that it's not that great of a like it's not a big deal but i'm going to look this up because the stitching does not look that great let's see the msrp on it was 396 dollars which i think is insane and it was on sale for 277 So just because it retails for a lot doesn't mean it resells for a lot. Um, so if this isn't worth like 40 or more dollars, I'm not going to spend five to 10 minutes stitching up the seams. Guys, that was it. Like, okay. So I did some research just really quick when I was counting my items. I got a total of like 23 to 25 items including all those tiny like little neck thingies. I'm going to sell um, 12 or 13, I don't know guys, I already lost track of time or numbers, but I divided it up and it came to like $3.08 an item, which is really great. This Parker dress, I'm actually going to take to a seamstress that I take my items that need mended professionally. And uh, as you can see, and have her fix that because I think I can sell this for 75 to 100, which is really good. And then that really beautiful a shot key or how do you say that? Flora butterfly dress. Um, comps are kind of mixed, but I think I can get like 50 to 75 maybe. Um, so definitely profitable. <laughs> I was such a Debbie Downer and I apologize. Uh, kind of had my hopes up just because of all the other boxes have been great. And uh, I was trying to manifest like something great because I don't know about you, but our thrift stores have really dried up. Like after Christmas, up until our yard sale season starts, which is usually May, the thrift stores are dry. Like there's nothing of high value. I've been finding bread and butter items, which is great. But I was looking over the items I shipped out today and all of them 
well, not all of them, but most of them were like between $15, $20. And I usually like to sell things for like 30. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, the next video is going to be my other thread up fabric box DIY that is $24. So I will catch you on my next video and let me just spoil it for you guys and say that one's a little bit better. Have a good day, guys.